There are many Nigerians out there who have resolved to live a life of integrity no matter the circumstances. For the organizers of this summit, what such decision simply means is that people should do the right thing, even when no one is watching. Perhaps many of such behaviors may have played out without a public notice. Obanago Ibrahim Mohammed, who saw and returned the sum of $10,000 to a customer when he was formerly working as a guard in one of the commercial banks in Lagos in 2017, is an example of such persons whose integrity has come into limelight. There are a whole lot of, you know, some Nigerians who were blaming me, you know, on social media, even on, you know, everywhere. Where some media houses posted my name, you see people coming there with a whole lot of comments and all that. A classmate of mine then called me and said, Ibrahim, we came to Lagos to look for money. You saw money and returned. I said, what if you were the one that lost that money? To be a man and a woman of integrity, it's a choice. And that is what I have chosen. Taking a cue from the biblical account in Proverbs 22 verse 1, which says that a good name is better than great riches, stakeholders in this hall are putting into perspective the need for citizens to inculcate integrity as a culture and way of life in line with the theme of the program which is make integrity your brand build a nation free from corruption good leadership is like light once you bring light where there is darkness what happens effortlessly the darkness will just disappear we must first of all input integrity in our hearts in the way we think and first of all, make it a kind of priority the way we act or conduct ourselves with the little things that we see ourselves on a daily basis. Building a nation that is free from corruption is a collective effort. Making integrity our brand is a personal decision. And that's the way we can build a nation that we can be proud of tomorrow and also live for our unborn children. While urging leadership reorientation, the summit also identifies the people as a force to drive good governance anchored on integrity. Kenneth Nani, NTA News.